wearing blue trunks with the white stripes, weighing 159 pounds from Paris, France, the sixth ranked middleweight of the world, Lucy Harmony. Referee Pete Bender will now give his instruction. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy at ringside at the Civic Center in Portland, Maine. Marvin Hagler weighed in at 161. Lucy Famani at 158 and a quarter. And Hagler brings in a record of 46 victories, two losses, two draws, including the controversial one against champion Vito Antifermo. 38 knockouts to his credit. Hamani with only 21 fights, 12 knockouts. He lost his first fight and then won 20 more. And they are both 27 years of age. Marvin Hagler, born in Newark, New Jersey, now lives in Brockton, Massachusetts, as we see his record. Hamani, born in Igufaf, Algeria, not far from the legendary Marcel Serdan who became the great French champion. And like uh, Serdan, he now resides in France, as Serdan did during most of his boxing career. He is rated number five by the WBC, Hagler number two, and number one by the WBA. The 10-point must system is in effect here in the state of Maine. Mandatory eight count in effect. The three knockdown rule is in effect, but a fighter can be saved by the bell in this state. Scoring is done by three judges. They are Louis Vigneault, Jim Breton, and Sid Swartz, all from Portland, Maine. The referee who will not score is the veteran Pete Bennett, also from Portland, Maine. Lucif Hamani will wear the blue trunks. He's on the left of your screen, and we're awaiting the bell for round one. Marvin Hagler in the red trunks, and we're underway now. This scheduled 10-round middleweight bout. Marvin Hagler hoping to get that title opportunity again. He's trying to leave the Antifermo draw behind him and is willing to fight as many as necessary to get back at the championship. Amani coming over to the United States for his first important fight here. Will, uh, of course, uh, be facing a tremendous opportunity to make himself better known throughout North America, and a victory over Hagler would certainly vault him right to the top of the middle rank, middleweight ranks. Both these fighters, Tim, look in very, very good condition. They both look like they've just cut out a rocket. Very well-conditioned fighters. You know, Hamani has good credentials. He has 20 straight wins, but he's beaten some good Americans. He beat David Love, he beat Rudy Robles, and, of course, he had a win over Emil Griffith. He has credentials. Has not been a real busy fighter, although he had three fights canceled last year that were scheduled to go. He trained for them, and for various reasons, they were canceled. One of them was against the veteran American Ronnie Harris, who fought for the championship. His last fight was an exhibition in September of 1979 against Jose Lozano of Spain, the fight taking place in Hamani's native Algeria. First round action. Hamani is a good boxer. He's very, very fast. Now it's a question of whether his boxing skills will be diminished because of the fact that he's in with a southpaw. That's what you have to look for. They match up very well physically, have almost identical bills, broad-shouldered, thick-chested, heavy thighs, both very strong and uh, really almost mirror copies of body structure. Hagler, five, nine and a half. Amani, five, nine and a quarter. A couple of pounds lighter. An enthusiastic group of Algerian students from colleges around Maine, Massachusetts, New England, some coming all the way from New York to support their countrymen. Makes his home in Paris. Less than a minute to go here in round one. An almost typical feeling out round here. Neither fighter getting too close, throwing too many punches as they get a good look at each other. Amani so far is moving strictly to his left, which is really the way to fight a southpaw, especially a southpaw uh, like Hagler. It's a punishing puncher. He keeps himself out of the range of that big straight left hand of Hagler's. Less than 30 seconds in round one, scheduled for 10. 20 foot ring here, eight ounce gloves in use. They are both in superb condition. Final seconds of round number one at the Civic Center in Portland, Maine.
round number two. Number one ranked Marvin Hagler on the left of your screen in the burgundy trunks. On the right of your screen, Lucy Pamani from Igufaf, Algeria, now living in Paris, France. Growing up very near the same town that Marcel Serdam was raised in Algeria and says he feels some of the tradition in his bones of the late, great Marcel Serdam. He trained in a gym where Serdam trained and saw the posters. Good right hook by Hagler, Tim. Good right hook. Missed that one. Amani. Now as they start to mix a little more here in round number two, showing his good movement. Oh, he's quick. He's quick. No question about that. Quick head movement, quick legs. He better be quick in there with Hagler. Marvin Hagler wins over Willie Warren, Mike Colbert, Kevin Finnegan, Benny Briscoe. And the draw that haunts him still against Vito Antifermo. Hamani is slipping punches and he's not countering, Tim. Good, that's, that's great right from Hagler. He's Rocking. hurt. Hamani is hurt. It really rocked him another right hand. He's got him in trouble. He's on the ropes and that's it. Hamani knocked right through these very loose ropes into the press row. As Hagler with a good short straight right. That was a damaging punch. And Hamani knocked right through these very loose ropes here. Took several tough shots as he was sagging on the ropes and fell into the press row and here in the second round a startling knockout by Marvin Hagler. Let's watch it again. Hamani receiving attention. He's apparently all right. That straight right jab hurt him. That's how powerful Hagler is. He hurt him with a jab. And there's a right hook behind it. Here, here's those ropes, those loose ropes. That didn't help. We've been watching these ropes during the preliminaries today and have been critical of them. They were not anchored tightly enough. And here's an example of what can happen. There's no support from those ropes. He takes a left and a right, and he's practically out cold at that point, and through the ropes he goes. Now, Lucie Famini being assisted back up toward the ring apron. Now they've decided to take him down and uh, we'll take him en route to the uh, dressing room and he is apparently all right. Getting some assistance from his handlers. The trainer is Julian Tifonier and his manager is Gerard Tifonier. We'll return here to the Civic Center in Portland, Maine in just a moment. <laughs> 